Time and time again, land managers, conservationists and governments run into the same problem. How to reconcile the need to protect ecological integrity and still provide the goods and services that humans need. Traditional approaches have relied on narrow, species-specific conservation goals that ignored the flow of materials, animals and goods. But nature doesn't follow borders and this approach has been limited in its achievements. So it's time for a change. The ecosystem services concept offers a holistic approach to ecosystem management that attempts to incorporate all of the values of an ecosystem. The goods, the food, the biodiversity, alongside the socio-cultural and recreational values. By combining these values, we can, in principle, find a more balanced approach to ecosystem management that will solve the conflicting demands on an ecosystem. But there is a gap. Some of these values have never been measured before, so new tools, methods and standards are needed in order to make the concept usable on the ground. In 2012, the European Commission funded two such projects that would focus on the development of these goals, the OPRAS project and the Openness project. Combined, the projects have over 35 case studies that cover urban, rural, coastal, woodland, marine, mountainous and river-based landscapes, all at a range of scales. Here are examples of two of the case studies being demonstrated by OPRAS and Openness. The Montado is a managed landscape that is centred on low-density plantations of the cork oak, Quercus suba. The thick, insulating bark of this tree is where we get cork. Meanwhile, cattle graze in the shade beneath the trees. Unique to the Mediterranean basin, this system is highly unusual in that it's rich both ecologically and economically. Employing over 60,000 people in Portugal alone, as well as supporting thousands of animal species. Despite the sustainable management of the Montado, the system is under threat from a number of different factors, with fluctuations in the price of cork, overgrazing, climate change and rural abandonment. The OPRAS team are employing the ecosystem services and natural capital concepts to combine the practice, productive, ecological as well as cultural aspects of socio-ecological systems to promote improved management of cork trees and help facilitate well-being of Montado for generations to come. Oslo is the city with the highest population growth in Northern Europe as a percentage of its total population. As a result, its precious green spaces are facing significant pressure from developers. The Openness team have been assessing the value of urban ecosystems in Oslo, as well as promoting the services provided by Urban ES, including recreation, pollution mitigation and reducing flood risk. These services have been estimated to be worth billions of euros annually. As well as this, the case study also scrutinises the potential and limitations of the concepts of ecosystem services and natural capital in an urban and Norwegian context. The research and developments made by both OPRAS and Openness will be combined in the shared platform OPLA, a new virtual hub funded by the European Commission FP7 programme, where the latest thinking on nature-based solutions will be brought together from across Europe. The purpose of OPLA is to be a one-stop shop for the latest knowledge and best practice. Whether you're a newcomer or an expert, OPLA will help you to find useful advice, tools and techniques quickly and easily. OPLA has ambition to grow into Europe's foremost platform for sharing environmental knowledge, where the outputs of research can achieve greater impact. Join the community and keep up to date with this exciting new venture.